Hey, how you guys doing? This is Ed Santana again, retired Kamasa and major from Edson Consultation. You can find me at edsonconsultation.com um, with another video. Please stay tuned. This is a really, really important video which I'm going to try to describe what not to do when you submit a VA claim. Again, what not to do when you submit a VA claim. Really important. Like always, I do not represent any government entity. This is a consulting business. This is based on experience and I'm not representing any government entity. Before I continue, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, to my YouTube channel. Please do not forget to subscribe. So here we go to the topic, what not to do when you submit your VA claim. Okay, what not to do for your VA claim disability compensation. A lot of people think, a lot of service members, that is easy, it's not easy, it's a complex system. And also you need to understand that the government is a real complex system and it has many layers that when you submit a claim, you have to go to different channels and to different departments to actually, so they can review your claim. You need to understand that. Also at the end you will find out that every claim is different and there's no special formula on how to win your compensation case. There's not. I mean, every case is unique and you need to understand that. Why do I say that? What works for one person, service member, might not work for another person. You need to understand that. Now, here we go for a couple of tips. I'm going to give you five tips of what not to do when you submit your VA claim. Five tips you need to make. Stay alert and pay attention to what I'm about to say. Tip number one, do not submit all your claim at once. Okay, a lot of service members make this mistake. Do not submit all your VA claims at once. Many service members think that it's a good idea, but in my experience, this could bring many red flags who is reviewing your case. You might think that you have all your documentation. You might think you're gonna get your 100% right away, but that's not the case. Trust me, do not submit all your VA claims at once. Remember, you must prove that the condition and this might bring questions and arise on why you waited to submit your VA claims in special when date on the injuries or conditions has elapsed or there's a gap in time for a long time. So you need to understand that, okay? Tip number two. Don't argue with VA representatives over the phone or through email. This is a really important one. Do not argue with the VA representatives over the, over the phone or through email. You have to understand there are people just like us. I mean, they also have their bad days. Be kind and also try to talk, you know, um, on why you submitted your claim, but do not argue with them. The people that works in VA are human also, like I said, like you, and they can also have a bad day. If you establish a pattern of concerns, meaning arguing with them over the phone, this could possibly slow down the process, okay? Tip number three, don't miss your compensation and pension, and pension CMP exam, also known as CMP exam. Do not miss your appointment, okay? This is really important because it's hard, or I wouldn't say hard, um, it takes time to reschedule your appointment, okay? So please make sure you do not miss your compensation and patient CMP exam. This is really important appointment to determine if you have a service-connected disability, okay? So do not miss your appointment. If you miss your appointment, make sure you make coordinations right away so you can reschedule your, your appointment. Tip number four, don't send a VA claim without medical documentation or nexus letters or body statements. A lot of service members, I will say, try to submit a claim and they, have, they don't have enough medical documentation and they get frustrated. So do not send a VA claim without proper medical documentation or nexus letter. Sending a VA claim without the proper documentation is letting the VA know that you did not do your due diligence to request your medical records or seek help 
for your conditions. It's really important. And tip number five, don't call VA on the status of your claim. Instead, check the status on the website, on the portal. It's super easy. I have a couple of videos how you do it. My point is, if you start bothering this, the VA, this also can slow down your claim. Just check on the website. I mean, it's really easy. Um, give time to your claim to develop and go through the process. They're really fast now. Um, I know um, service members that have submitted a claim and in five days they get a response. So the system is faster, way faster than before. But please give time to your VA claim to go through the system, okay? Before it was months, even a year before you get an, an answer, but now they're super fast. Okay. Um, remember also to do your research on best practices on how to win your VA claim. There's many websites out there, people that are doing and helping service members and seek advice and always here to answer questions. Okay. So those are five tips. Remember, um, really easy. If you need any help, please um, subscribe to my channel at Etsin Space Consultation. And you can also check my website at estinconsultation.com. This is retired command sign major Epson Teno. So please, if you need help, reach out. I'm here to help you. Okay, I'm going to transition to Spanish for those Spanish speakers out there. Este es el sargento mayor retirado de comando de Centeno. Hice un video corto de las cosas de no hacer cuando sometan una discapacidad de veterano. Es bien sencillo, pero es bien importante que entendamos que el sistema es un sistema burocrático y tiene muchas etapas en que se puede estancar tu caso. Y tenemos que entender cómo funciona el sistema y que no nos frustremos. So aquí dije cinco puntos de no hacer cuando sometas tu discapacidad de veterano. Y la primera es que no sometas todas tus discapacidades al mismo tiempo. Esto es bien importante. Muchos miembros de servicio envían todas las discapacidades de una vez y esto puede traer muchos problemas porque la persona que está revisando puede este, argumentar que por qué esperaste tanto tiempo o puede también ver la diferencia en tiempo entre una condición y la otra y por qué esperaste tanto tiempo. Bien importante de no someter todas las discapacidades de veterano al mismo tiempo. El punto número dos, no este, discutas con los representantes de veteranos. Esto es bien importante. No discutas ni por teléfono ni por correspondencia electrónica. Cuando empezamos a discutir con ellos porque estamos frustrados, esto, esto puede también, también traer problemas y algunas veces también este, puede aguantar tu reclamación de discapacidad de veterano. Punto número tres. Bien importante que no falles en ir a tu cita médica que te dieron de evaluación de discapacidad de veterano. No pierdas tus citas. Si no puedes ir a tus citas, por favor, haz todo lo posible de, de hacer una nueva cita lo más antes posible. Punto número 4. Nunca sometas una reclamación de discapacidad de veterano si no tienes suficiente documentación médica o si tienes una carta de un doctor que pueda hacer referencia a la condición que incurrió mientras estabas en servicio. Muy importante que no envíes una reclamación de discapacidad de veterano si no tienes la documentación propia. Punto número 5. Eh, no llames para preguntar por el estado de tu condición o de la reclamación de veterano, eh, usa la página. Eh, también tengo videos en esto de cuáles son las páginas y benefits, el VA, eh, el portal, y ahí puedes buscar información y buscar el estatus de tu reclamación de discapacidad de veterano. Es bien fácil de hacer. Si necesitas ayuda, estamos aquí para ayudarte. Por favor, no te olvides de suscribirte a mi canal de YouTube a Etsin Espacio Consultation. Ahí me puedes encontrar. También puedes eh, verificar y ver mi página a etsinconsultation.com. Y por favor, estoy aquí para ayudarles. Si tienen alguna pregunta, me pueden dejar saber. 
eh, nuevamente este es el sargento mayor retirado de comando del centeno que pasen un bonito día y gracias bye